presentation, which is all, which is about Log IE, which we've just heard about. Um, obviously, lots of people know what it is. It's a logistics information exchange. It's in its pilot phase, live mapping for a real life emergency, a bit like Waze. So you hear, you know, for, for driving, you, you find out whether roads are flooded, bridges washed away, warehouse availability, really, really key, uh, vital information in real time. So uh, Bernat Escara is going to give us some more about information about that. He's the data and software engineering project manager. So Bernat. Welcome everybody. My name is Fernando Scarre. I am the project manager of Log A, and I have been asked to explain you a bit about the why, the how, and the what of Log A. But I only have 10 minutes, so I'm going to go straight to the point. Let's start this journey. We start with the question of why we created Log A. Three things we stand for. We stand for community, we stand for innovation, and we stand for partnership. What we go for? We want a humanitarian community that works together. We want to reduce the uncertainty of the information in times it is needed the most. And we want to increase the efficiency so we can reach more people and therefore we can save more lives. What we do, we want to facilitate to the whole humanitarian community a way to change humanitarian logistics information. And how we do it, we create an information exchange platform for and by the humanitarian logistics responders. What is LOCKE? You can imagine LOCKE as an iceberg. What you see, the tip of the iceberg are user-friendly web interfaces, applications and surveys that act as an information gateway of humanitarian supply chain. But what you don't see, what is underwater, is what really makes Lucky special and sustainable for the future. These things are, we support partners to share information by using data sharing agreements and data sharing consents. We spend more than two years developing a data model that makes Lucky compatible with most of the humanitarian logistics information platforms that are currently in use. And we have also developed a data engine and advanced algorithms to process the data that comes in. We support and advocate with humanitarian partners to share logistics information by participating in meetings, organizing roundtables, and creating workshops. We do that to spread the word of Lock AE, to adapt Lock AE to the needs and wants of the humanitarian community, and to make Lock AE part of this community. Also, we have developed a learning program to support information manager officers or anyone who needs to be part of the data governance of Log AE to learn how to edit and validate information according to the same values and principles. We created a data governance guidance to support on a sustainable and long-term information exchange. And last but not least, we also support national governments to lead the exchange of logistics information. How Log AE works? First, we collect information. The information that we collect comes from three different ways. First, from global data sources. Second, from national data sources. And third, from service and data collection apps that collect data directly from the field. Then, all this information, like a funnel, goes to a data engine that processes all this information and merges all into our data model. Then, before the information goes public, we have created an editing and validation interface where the information is edited and validated. Here is where our learning program comes into place. Once information is checked and verified, it's ready to go public. We have two ways of consuming this information that goes public. First, if there is an already existing tool or interface for humanitarian logistics information in use in a country, LOCA doesn't want to be the next interface. Instead, it's going to provide the data as a data stream, also known as API, so that this other interface or system will synchronize with LOCA and visualize its information. Second, we have also developed a user-friendly and lightweight website so that anyone can access and view all the information that Locky has in an easy and agile manner. And I'm happy to announce to you today that this week we are releasing a new version of this interface. And I'm going to show you now how this last interface looks and works. Let me show you how the interface looks like now. First thing, 
to access to Locke AE, and here I invite you to check our platform, you just have to use the following link, lockae.locklaster.org slash exclamation mark OP, and the ISO code of the country you are interested in. Some countries that we are already working on the public user page of Lokai are Zimbabwe, Malawi, Madagascar, Ethiopia, Haiti, Nepal, Cox's Bazar, and Cambodia. Then, as you might already know from other presentations of Lokai, or maybe you're already familiar with the tool, in this website, you can make reports, you can change the base map of the map you are seeing, you can draw sketches on the map, and you can also share this information by exporting the map into a PDF. But now you can also select groups of information layers by models. By just clicking this button, you can see the type of information you are looking for faster. You can also view better the information of every point of interest. And also, you can also see additional information. And this information appears in a sidebar window for some points of interest. Lastly, I want to show you when the new developments are going to be available during this 2021 and where we are also going to roll out Locke.e this year. Let's start first with the development. Our team is in continuous discovery and delivery, and everything we develop answers what the user needs and wants. Last year, Locke.e was released as an MVP, and in the beginning of this year, we made Locke.e ready to be scaled up to multiple countries, and today, we are releasing a new version that is part of the mid-year release. Main updates of this release that today you have available. We improve the user experience by creating models of information, for example, for physical access constraints or logistics capacity mapping. Now you can find it easier what you are looking for, for by just selecting the models of information you are looking for. We created new pop-up windows that help you read information easier and highlights the most relevant information in an overview page. Also, by just a click, you get additional LCA information on the element that you are interested in. For example, in the screenshot, you see that by clicking on the LCA button, you get the information of that airport. In the two next main releases, we keep working on improving the user experience and the user interfaces. And to sum it up, we are going to include new models and to make Locke multilingual. And by the end of the year, Locke will be available to create simulations and to start integrating information from social media platforms like chat groups. Quick overview, we are rolling out Locke in over 20 countries that are part of the logistic cluster preparedness project. So far, we have successfully collaborated in Malawi, Madagascar, Haiti, Zimbabwe, Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh, and Cambodia. And we are planning to start conversations soon in Iraq, Nepal, South Sudan, and Sierra Leone. Also, during this year, we prioritize to support up to three sudden onset logistic cluster emergency responses. Thank you for listening. As you may already know, Locke.ie is a platform made for and by the humanitarian community to be better prepared, better informed, and better coordinated by exchanging logistics information in any shape, way, or form at any time. We'll be happily waiting for you next Thursday in the GLM Marketplace, where we will have more time to walk you through the user journey of Locke.ie. Of course, I can explain it to you again. One of my colleagues can explain it to you. But who better to explain you the usability of Locke.ie than the preparedness officers that are currently rolling out Locke.ie in their countries? We invited three partners who can explain you as no other how Locke.ie is going to lead, strengthen, and expand the logistics responders community. And I also invite you at any time, day or night, to contact us. The Locke.ie team will be very happy to talk to you because Locke.ie is made for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much you indeed. Well.